Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 405. I am your host Norman Sanzo and this week we uh, we 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 are getting into that cycle where there's not much news. Um we only got one news per se and that's more speculative than anything. But let's not dilly dally and hop right into it. So First news is no pony life in Discovery Family's March highlights. So, uh, Sylvester wrote, "It's looking like March won't be the release of Pony Life, according to Discovery Family's most recent programming highlights for the month. It doesn't mention any pony at all, considering Toy Fair didn't deliver on any further f- future f- further solid." Dates. The release is still a mystery. We will have to consider. Oh, sorry, we will have to cross our fingers and hope April is the month for Pony Life, or maybe something earlier. Um, maybe some early YouTube release. Expect updates soon as we get them. F- uh, as we get them. For now, at least on Discovery Family, there isn't any release on Pony Life. So, this is kind of a mm, interesting topic. Uh, I I know this is mostly speculative and whatnot, but the reason here is is that the show Pony Life is a reminisce of Gen three point five. Usually, the three point five thing is not good. In terms of Western shows, um, I I think Silver Quill did a really good video on um, the topic itself, highlighting how uh, this show, or, yeah, hi- hi- highlighting how um, the follow-up show or this one is kind of mostly of a joke show and whatnot, and how it could be done right and whatnot and. Uh, in Japan, it's more done as a supplementary to the main show, something like that, to take it off or to re- re- <laughs> uh, or to take it off the track and put it as its own. Um, for example, like Gundam, Gundam is mostly action-packed, base, um, huge, like a lot of action, but the uh, supplementary or the SD version is mostly jokes and whatnot. A more comedic things that they can do with the characters and settings. So, uh, I'm going to assume that Pony Life here is going to be one of those situations where they're going to take our favorite characters and, you know, just show them in a lighter light. But in all honesty, Pony has been doing that for a long time now. Um, what we have nine years worth of shows and you know honestly the show itself has been a mixed bag of action to slice of life to comedic slapsticks and whatnot so for pony life let's just wait and see i have a lot of (laughs) i wouldn't say hope but i'm just gonna say that I I can't wait to see it and see how they do it because according to the show, they're going to add a new character named Potion something, I don't remember, and Pinkie Pie's Potions, shenanigans and whatnot. And I think what uh, one of my Patreon members, Pest of Black, told that it would they missed the opportunity to use Zakura more because Zakura is all about the potions. So... <laughs> Uh, Pinkie Pie could have stolen her stash of potions, yes. But yeah, uh, that's the news for this week. Um, there's not much news to run about because, well, uh, I haven't been... Uh, I won't say I haven't been keeping up. It's just that the news for this week has been pretty slow, in all honesty. Um, there's slow on the uptakes and... There's nothing 
new or fancy going on. Uh, we have to wait until Holy Life comes into free, then we'll get a, m a lot more information, a lot more stuff going on, like merchandising and series and so on. L like, we will really have to wait and see. Then we'll go to G5, and from that point on, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot to cover. But as for now, I am happy with what we have now. And this is this is kind of a slow tempo. This is slow tempo. We have to we we can relax, and it's just five minutes in, and yeah, you don't take too much of your time. <coughs> Sorry, but I I do enjoy the half an hour or at least twenty minutes show. Those are kind of fun. But anywho, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing my week? So uh, last week I mentioned that. I've been taking care of a kitten. Yes. And it's the same for this week. Kitten has actually grown a bit. Uh, she is, I'm assuming, three weeks old now. Three weeks old. Yeah, I I'm guessing something like that. So the growth spur for a kitten is quite interesting, especially if you give it milk every day. Time flies by. You, you you won't even notice it. But anywho, um, kitten has been taken care of. Uh, she is doing well, and she's a little scamp. Like to bite on my legs and hands. Yep. But other than that, um, let's see. I haven't been playing any much games. Oh, um, recently got Doom two thousand sixteen. Having fun with that. I know it's an old game, but see a uh, let's play of it and I was really interested in it and give it a try and it's fun. It's fun. The last time I remember playing a Doom game was Doom 3 on the OG Xbox. Was it on the OG Xbox? I don't remember. But I, I remember picking that up, playing that and getting scared out of my wits. And for this one, 2016, nah, you're, you're not scared of the game, the game's scared of you, <laughs> kind of deal. Uh, it was fun, it was a lot of fun. Uh, other than that, been doing, or been playing the Magic the Good Ring, uh, that's a lot of fun too. And other than that, um, nothing much, just been going through life day by day. So yeah, uh, I I'm <laughs> I'm gonna s I'm gonna hope that next week we'll get a few good news for ponies, um, more updates and so on. I just hope that next week we'll get a plethora of news for me to report on. But uh, as for now, uh, let's wrap it up because me deleting and eating up your time is not good. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can send them at show at gmail.com if you'd like to send a tweet you can also reach us on the twitters yes uh, the twitter show's twitter account is at mbs show and my personal twitter account is at norman sanzo also please subscribe rate us on itunes youtube don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and search radio and also like our facebook page yes we do have a facebook page you can also catch us on ponylive.com links are in the show notes also, we have the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Totera reviewing the Pony comics, shows, and specials. And sometimes we like to divert from doing ponies to animes, comics, and movies. So, if you share my same interests, uh, go on by there and give it a like and sub. And, well, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Amy, Jeffrey, myself, <laughs> sorry, Tristan, and also Master of Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. And one of the few benefits of joining the Patreon is you get to hear 
unedited cuts of the review and discussion podcast. And what I mean by that is that it's raw. You you won't. <laughs> there's no uh, edited tracks. There's no um, censors or anything. If one of us say a naughty word, you'll get to hear it. And surprisingly enough, it's not from the person that you think that would say all those naughty words. So if you're curious, uh, do support us on the Patreons. Uh, go as low as five, sorry, a buck to five. So give it a shot. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'll just catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.